Let me talk to you about comfortable running shoes. But there will always be that one person that goes, oh, but that means they're gonna be all clunky and heavy. No, don't worry about that, just comfort. What shoes can you get that are gonna be comfortable? Oh, but that means, that means they're not gonna have a return of energy. You will just squish in and not have propulsion. Listen, I'm talking comfort, ignore pace. Ign oh, but that means they're gonna be high stack and therefore unstable. Listen, listen, listen. Just comfort, ignore everything else. What shoe should you get to be comfortable in your run? Easy run, zone two. Even if you're walking, these shoes are gonna be wonderful to walk in or to run in. Maybe not walking, but to run slow and be comfortable in them. That's what I wanna give you. Listen, my name is Aubrey. I'm an average runner, simply trying to be less average by the day. As at the time of filming this, you've given me 7,936 subscribers. We're nearing that 8,000 mark. Thank you very much. A big shout out to a guy called Martin Hutchinson. He's counting along with me and he reminded me that we're nearly there. Hey, but anyway, let's quickly start this. I'm gonna give you one pair of shoes from each brand that I own. So if a brand is missing, it's simple. I don't have that shoe. The only downside of this shoe is that it's 220 pounds. But from Hocker, if you're looking for comfort in your runs, you won't beat this shoe. It's as simple as that. The Rocket X2 is gold standard when it comes to Hocker running shoes. Let's move on. I'm gonna go to Puma next. You guys, you guys in the States call this Puma. Um, that's basically what I mean. I've got several Puma shoes. In fact, I'll show you actually, hold on. Um, I've got the Fast Star over there. I've got the DV8 Nitro Elite 2. But you know what? Those Puma bad boys sent me this shoe. This is the Forever Run. The comfort you get in this shoe, um, to me, I think is beaten by the Magnify. So Puma have another shoe called the Magnify. I don't have it. So this is the most comfortable running shoe I own from the Puma brand. Now the reason I'm doing this video, I've received several questions from people simply asking, Aubrey, I don't care about stack height. I don't care about all these detailed specs you give us. Can you just tell me which one's more comfortable? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cover across all brands and choose one. Anyway, let's move on. Um, these are not ordered yet. At the end, I'm gonna give these a ranking and tell you my top three. Let's carry on. New Balance is in the house. And this is New Balance's gold standard. This is the New Balance More V4. At one point, this was my favorite max cushion, max stack shoe. The comfort you get in this bad boy, it just sinks in. It just gives you that comfort. It just makes you feel like you wanna carry on running. Even though you're tired, you're fatigued, you don't wanna run anymore, the comfort is there. New Balance More V4 was my absolute standard up, up until a certain point. Okay, so the next one is gonna split hairs. And it's this one here. This is Adidas's Prime Egg Strong. Now, there are plenty of other shoes within Adidas's lineup that are more your everyday comfortable shoes. But the exam question here is, which one is the most comfortable? Now look, I got the new one. Now these bad boys, there's this one here, and then there's that one there. A lot of people preferred the first version, which is this one here. Me personally, I go with the Primex 2 Strong. Now, a whole lot of people complained about the weight of the shoe, blah, blah, blah. Now for me, I'm not sprinting in these shoes. I'm not doing three minute per K pace kind of running. So when I look at comfort, I'm okay with the weight. This, in my opinion, is absolutely gold standard when it comes to comfort from the Adidas brand. Just my opinion. However, it's 250 pounds. 250 pounds, this is now being the first version, it's gonna be a discounted shoe. I would therefore recommend, you probably start with this one. It might not be a shoe you will get along with, but if it is, I can guarantee you will love this one, unless of course you start getting all fussy about the weight, blah, blah, blah. But to me, 
I'm not a skinny runner. I'm a bigger guy. I want a shoe to contend with me and give me the same comfort despite not being built like Kipchoge. So me, I'm, I'm, as far as Adidas is concerned anyway, I'm staying with this bad boy here. All right, on running then stepped on the scene. They gave us the Cloud Surfer 7 and I was digging it. I was loving it. But guess what? This is so good. We have to go into this camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They landed this thing here. Boom, right? So we had this, we had this, and then boom. I was like, what is going on here? The cloud eclipse, boom. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look, look at that thing, look at that midsole. Look at that midsole. Let's not talk about this. So don't get me wrong. The Cloud Surfer 7, great comfortable shoe. But then when On Running rocked up, and then poof, ow! I was like, what are you doing? That there is comfort defined. I love this. The good thing about it too, it does have a little bit of a kick to it. So you're not just sinking in. But if comfort is what you're after and you're looking to stay within the On brand, this bad boy is exactly where you want to be. Right, I got a question for you and please answer in the comments. This brand here, this one here, right? Do you say ASICS or ASICS? I've got a very quick question. Please stick it in the comments because I don't know how many people have tried to correct me. I say ASICS. Yeah. Oh no, even I don't know now. Yeah, ASICS. The gel numbers 25 came out at the start of the year and blew me away. ASICS came out making a statement. This is the most comfortable shoe ever. I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I put it on. This changed the game for ASICS. I know the 26 has just come out. Well, it's not fully out yet. The big influencers have showed us them. Um, and once I get it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I review it on the channel. But if you're looking to stay with ASICS and this is the brand of choice for you, the Gel Nimbus 25, I must admit, I don't think I've put in enough mileage into this shoe. Um, my heart got stolen by the one I'm about to show you after this. But if you're looking to stay with the A6 brand, this bad boy here is absolutely gold standard from that brand. Now they make excellent shoes, but to me, when it comes to comfort, no other consideration, this bad boy is gonna be the one. Right, one more shoe. Bang, the Nike Invincible 3. So good, I have to do it in the other camera too. Bang, I love this shoe. A lot of issues have been complained about. People have talked about heel slips, including this guy. People have talked about, it's too comfortable. I can't get my speed on, all this kind of stuff. But for me, if your criteria is comfort, this here, this here, wait, maybe if I put it close enough to the camera, you can even feel that comfort. This bad boy, should we go in this camera? This bad boy does the job. All right, as I promised you, I said I'm gonna give you my top three. Now, what is the criteria for this top three? It's simple. I'm not gonna be as objective as, oh, let's look at the one I've used the most using my Strava details. I'm not gonna look at stack height, the price, no. When I put on this shoe, what is the shoe that makes me feel like I am comfortable, I'm enjoying the cushioning, and I'm enjoying my run? Let's start with number three. Ah, bang. The Gel Nimbus 25 didn't disappoint. Into this camera, didn't disappoint. We loved it. It came in, changed the game, the comfort. A6 bragged about it. It comes in at number three. Bang. Number two, let's not talk too long. Bang. On running. I was like, what are you talking about, Gel Nimbus 25? I can show you what comfort is. I'll give you the Cloud Surfer 7. Oh, that's not enough? Fine. Bang. My goodness, that's a good looking shoe. But, Number one, you know what's coming, bro. You know what's coming. It's so good, it's gonna go into this camera. It's so good, it has to go back into this camera. This here set the standard for me. This set the standard for what confidence you'd feel like. Now, a whole lot of people have complained. It's too soft, lack of stability, heel slips. But you know what, man? When I get the laces done right, I just enjoy running in this shoe. With all of that said, thank you for checking this out. More reviews to come. <laughs> a bit more serious next time. <laughs>
So I'm releasing a video every day leading up to Christmas. Please join me as I go. The goal is to get to 8,000 subscribers before Christmas and it would be good to have you subscribe and please join me and I'll see you on the next one.